will work. And if you're confused as hell when I'm talking about phase one, two, or three, watch my friggin' micro content video and then you'll understand what I'm talking about. What's going on everyone, you're watching Vision Paradox TV, the place to learn social media marketing strategies that we implement with our clients. So that way you guys are, you know, learning the best stuff that we implement with our clients and you guys start building your personal brand, your small business, your shirt company, your supplement company, your modeling life, whatever it is that you're trying to do with social media. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so if you're on any social platform like Instagram, Snapchat, then you know how important it is to produce content consistently. So today, I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to quickly create micro content with any of your photos on your phone quickly. All right, so the first product that I'm gonna share with you guys is Adobe Photoshop Express. It's honestly one of my favorite products because it, it's not exactly like using Photoshop, but what I can do with it is a little bit more uh, compared to the other options I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Let's see. Um, actually, we got to get download some content first. So I'm going to head on over to my Google Cat, my Google Drive, which is where I, uh, a lot of our clients' content and our content is kept. So I'm going to head on over there. I'm going to go actually go to my own content to use myself an as an example. And I have some new ones that I just uh, uploaded. It's from a trip from my vlog. So. The macro content, if you guys remember the video, the macro content is the, the long form. So the macro content was from my vlog. And then these are contents that I got from there. It's like family. This is a super personal vlog. So uh, taking my grandma back to the Philippines. Anyways, as you can see, I already have a phase two folder here. Let's see. I like this one. I'm goofy. I'm being goofy. iPhone's going to be a little different. And I click those three, these three buttons right here. It would say open in and you choose where it says download, I would uh, it would say open in, and it would sh you would take that to Adobe Photoshop Express. For me, I gotta actually download it. Now I open up Express. It's up here. Boom, and it's in there. It's up to you if you wanna start cropping it immediately. Pretty good already. Not like not not a fan of how big my face is in there, but I kind of I really like the original size. I like the background in it. it. Just adds, I, for me, it adds depth and it gives context to the location of where I'm at. So I'm just gonna keep it as is. So from here, at these three little uh, intersecting circles, um, is where the real magic starts happening. All this is preset uh, templates and filters, like how Instagram used to do it. I just like these filters a little better, <laughs> in my opinion. From normal to free, charm, black and white, and just how you would start creating your own micro content. So I'm just gonna start going through it. So I like, this is way too contrasty for me. It looks like it's freezing cold out there. So ones I generally look, eventually you find ones that you like most that you always, that you're always gonna go to. Cause it's gonna be also gonna be cons uh, consistent with your aesthetic or the look you're going for. And you, if you click on this half hat picture right here, you can see the original. And I kind of like this little purple tone going on. So I click on the share button. I just save it to my gallery. I got one piece of micro content. I just keep playing with it. Like I keep clicking and see what, what kind of look I like. That's blown out. That looks like a really, really dramatic movie that I wouldn't watch. No, you want you want the filter to reflect the mood of the photo. Don't just pick a random filter uh, and then throw it up because lighting and shadowing conveys the mood. So if I make this super contrasty, I, it gets a little bit more into the dramatic realm. But so I like this. This is getting a little on the warm in str stronger contrast. So it's not too bad. You also got need to be very relentless in your choices. Don't try to make too much just because it kind of looks nice. Make sure it looks nice and it, it actually meets your standards. I know I'm just going to go to ones that I know that I normally like. Right now I'm going to go to like vital, see how that looks. That looks like it only looks good on some other photos. <laughs> so you gotta be honest with yourself. It's nostalgic, kinda like this. It's getting a too, little too yellow or orange for me. Too yellow, kinda like this. It looks looks like a, the kind of photo you would see in like some sort of third world country kind of ads. And it's, it's not meant to be sad, but I kinda like this this uh, throwback feel. I'm gonna save it. Don't know if I'm gonna, ever gonna use it, but you know, throwback Thursdays are a thing, so. <laughs> I'm really liking this vintage look. I know I said something about contrast, but I like this. And then this little bar right here, you can increase or decrease 
how much of it you want. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit, despite it being super yellow, not a fan of how that looks. Anyways, this is just an example. Next thing is, okay, I'm gonna go back to normal, swiping all the way left. Okay, now, what if you want to edit the filters yourself or do something completely, you know, customized? You click on this little gears here, not gears, forgetting my words, but this is, you click on the third icon from the left, and this is where you start seeing all the stuff you can start changing. You can change the clarity, how sharp the photo is, the grain. So one thing I normally do, this is just how I do things, is I always go to the saturation and I drop it. And, I, and so everything is black and white, colors aren't throwing me off. I aim to either increase or decrease the shadows. Normally for things that are super uh, happy or upbeat, shadows aren't that crazy dense. So I push the shadows up a little bit because I'm trying to reflect the mood of joy, contrast. Maybe drop it down a tad bit, exposure. Make it a li little bright. No, it's too much for me. I'm gonna go to the highlights and push that up a little bit more okay not too I'm, I'm, I'm really pushing it though <laughs> now okay let's see how it looks when I push saturation back to here and I compare it to it's a little little bit of a difference okay now I generally increase the sharpness as much as I not all the way but like just enough this is something stuff you have to to experiment okay dehaze kind of like how that's looking boom let's compare it from the previous now let's make it a little cooler Ooh, not too cold so that the here you can tell or you can just press the auto button just does it for you so it's not too bad it actually looks pretty good Okay, uh, let's see if there's, oh, I increased, I generally increase the vibrance, but the colors are pretty vivid already, because if I do, it's just gonna like, the colors I feel like are just gonna get obnoxious, so, or you can just tone it back. Let's see what auto does, just to be, just out of curiosity. Ah, oh, not bad either. Okay, so you can see the difference from before, after, so, uh, from there, I think, I, I think this is good for now, just for example's sake. Cause there's a couple other apps I want to show you here I just save the gallery boom and if you want to save that as a normal look just click add and name it okay la 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 okay I already have my own custom look here I'm not gonna save it and if there's other things too like if you want to remove blemishes or if you want to remove red eye or if you want to add text to make something inspirational but you get the point inspiration when I, it comes to the text Make sure it's also it also reflects the mood of the photo. So uh, and that kind of, uh, that kind of thing kind of I I think comes with practice and getting feedback. So if you're not sure if your if your photo is looking good, you know, hit me up, send leave a comment, ask a question, ask your friends to help you, to who has that kind of eye, you know, graphic design friend, photographer friend, to give you feedback. I kind of like this. And generally, you don't want it to be. Uh, of like unless this is your intention to be like I don't know family that's cool too if that's your intent just gotta make sure your text shouldn't be the dominating factor of your photo I think what makes inspirational quote cards or text successful is that the image itself is powerful and the text is just accessories that make it better that's just my thoughts on that. So that's Adobe Photoshop Express and already. So as you can see, if I scroll down to, look at all these photo, funny photos. Here, Photoshop Express, I got several versions of micro content on the phase two era, phase two part. Um, you can do the phase three parts on any of this, add some nice quotes on the left here. You got your phase three as well. So I generally use Photoshop Express on the go to create a lot of phase two content and create my phase three content on, on Photoshop. But if you don't have a whole lot of experience using photo, Adobe Photoshop, uh, the desktop, you know, creating phase three content on using Adobe Photoshop Express will work. And if you're confused as hell when I'm talking about phase one, two, or three, watch my friggin' micro content video and then you'll understand what I'm talking about. So now other another one, 
that's pretty popular. Everyone uses it. Visco, Viso, whatever it is. VSCO, Visco. I haven't used this in a while because I've been in love with Adobe Photoshop Express. But you can do the same thing here. Actually, just some good stuff here already. Anything that you already have. Let's grab, grab that original photo. Let's see. Download section right here. Boom. Yeah, let's import that. You can generally go through the same process. Okay, that's done. And you can click on these little knobs here. And you can start adding filters. Okay, there's some pretty good filters on this as well. And you can change, lessen it, or increase it. Damn, actually some of these filters are pretty good. <laughs> uh, the thing with this is that uh, Viso, Visco, whatever you call it, they're continually, they continuously add new filters for you guys to use. So there's always gonna be a fresh new look for you guys to be able to play with. The only problem is, I think, was that you gotta pay for this? Yeah, you pay for it. That's the only thing. Like if, cause Photoshop Express, there's a set amount and you get what you get and you don't get upset. But with Visco, they're constantly coming up with new stuff for you guys to be able to use. Look how far I'm scrolling. I'm still going. Like, you know, just for like, what, $7.99 a month? No, I don't even know how much it is. If it's valuable for you, I say go for it. Similar kind of process. Let's go for, uh, just kind of gives like an old look. I like this look right here. And then immediately you can save this, you know, and then click on this. The three buttons, save to gallery, as you're continuing to create more micro content. Let's go back to, let's click on this again. You can get, you can do it I with like the first part of the method and just get some filters, throw it on there and save it. Or you can do, go back to the original one and create your own, you know, uh, same thing. I generally go, you know, saturation, drop it down, set the, it's more like vibrancy maybe because it's not completely black and white and then it start adjusting. And the thing with this, I now I remember why I stopped using this. One of the thing with this is that the control with the shadows and the highlights, I don't think you don't have as much control. Let me see, I'm looking for it. No, I don't think so, just a white balance. So does the temperature make it a little cooler or hotter? Uh, tone. Oh, there we go. And definitely start pushing that, yeah. So I'm not I'm not a fan of how you can control it on Viso, Visco, Viso, whatever you call it, Co. Um, but it's still pretty badass. I think it's probably one of the best like filter, color correction, image editor things on your phone. So uh, saturation. That's when we when we pick that back up. Increase some of the sharpness a little bit. Just throwing in random numbers. Contrast, let's make this a little more on the contrast side, just for a sake. Exposure, you know, I'm just playing around. So, boom. It's, now I'm starting to think it's a little too bright for me, so we can play that. Uh, maybe I can tone that down a little bit, depending on your preferences. Now, skin tone, I don't know, what's that? See, I haven't, that's how long I've, I haven't used this. But this is, you know, Viso cam, you can add a vignette, which is like a nice little, see that, a nice little faded circle around you guys. And I think you can revert from the very beginning. I don't know what that means. Oh, you can create a recipe from everything you've done. That's cool. So pretty much saving your own filter. I don't think that you can edit text on this, which is if you guys are trying to create phase three content or code cards, I think is a pretty big deal in terms of trying to keep it everything in one place. Um, I think Visco, Viso, Visco, Visco, Coco, 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 Coco Puffs is, is great for creating phase two content. So uh, let's just hit save on this and save to the gallery. Let's head on to the next editor that you can use. Uh, a lot of people use it. Is Canva, Canva, Canva. I don't use it that much, that often because I'm primarily using Photoshop. So I'm going to kind of discover this with you guys. So, um, and those of you who are, you know, more proficient with Canva, have more power to you. Um, Canva is a pretty much, as far as I know, it kind of creates, you, it's a lot of these templates are done for you and it's already formatted for you. You know, whether it be Instagram, Instagram story, Facebooks, any kind of social platform you're looking for. Apparently like, oh look, invitations, cards. So a lot of templates and sizes are set for you. 
and a lot of it um, is free but just some as you can see this little coin on my this top left for the Instagram story oh, I'm gonna use my mouse right here right here that's where you, that's where you have to pay so it's a, it's cool freemium kind of product um, so so designs is where your past designs are so YouTube channel art uh, so you can tell how I was just playing around with this I don't even know what I was doing here so from here let's create let's create let's see Instagram post okay I think this is great mainly for like flyers and stuff I like this one it's more for my feel okay tap something to start editing tap cool yes see I've never used it okay, I'm gonna add uh, this photo of my me and my grand aunt I think if you say that boom that's in there this is I think this is mainly good uh, just for my impression it looks like it's this is mainly good for creating phase 3 kind of content I don't know if you can actually do like filters or fixes but oh wow they got a uh, they got the, the fonts that I like oh this is definitely <laughs> this is definitely great for phase 3 content oh I can't edit it the way I want the thing with Emory that my Emory TV stuff is that my a lot of my text has to have uh, slants I'll remove that okay so if you play with it you'll you'll figure it out as you go a lot of these pr apps are pretty straightforward in my opinion just from my fir uh, my first impression of canva or actually trying to properly use it because er everything has just been like a half ha haphazard experiment i think it's primarily good for like phase three content where you're adding text after you create your phase two content so again if you're not if i'm not making sense to you watch the micro content video it's just one of those things you know one of those things that won't make sense until you get you hear it this is why i like having variations because then i can see what works with the text nope 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 i kind of like this it has that mormon nostalgic feel boom so now now i have my phase three micro content let's just download it or whatever share means share i'm share bitch Wow, that took a while just to make that happen. That was slow. Not a fan of that. Okay, complete action using this. Who, I'm not sharing it to anybody. I wanted to save it in my device. Should be saved into my device in a separate new folder. Right here, new content. Boom, not exactly like awe-inspiring, but you get the idea. Let's try something new. So if you want to add some more, just playing with it, you can add more text. Farm table. <laughs> Farm table. Okay. Or you can add another image within it. I'm gonna add this photo of Jordan doing a deadlift. Or you can add another photo of add more graphics around it, circle around it. You know, there's a lot of what you can do with it. So if you wanna add another design within the same kind of idea, you can go here. Uh, head on boom kind of dedicate this whole area to have same design or same kind of concept and edit as you go or you can add a completely different you know template and just add it this can be this whole like little area this whole design can be all the promo content regarding an upcoming product and it can be different quotes uh, testimonials you can be cr as creative as you want look at this look how creative you can get with the shapes with this so this is pretty awesome I don't use uh, Canva as much oh that's really creative I don't use ca uh, Canva that much because um, I'm primarily using a lot of my editing a, a lot of my content on Photoshop but this is a great place for you to be able to do face 3 content even do graphic content as a, such as this if you have the patience and have the talent to Put stuff like this uh, if you can man friggin props to you um, I don't have the patience well I probably do if I had to resort to it but I honestly would much rather do this on Photoshop anyways all right so overall it's gonna go through the three apps uh, on my thoughts on all of them first off Adobe Photoshop Express my favorite so far in terms of creating quickly creating micro content for phase two and uh, phase and phase three and you know probably 
it's not at the level as say Canva apparently as you can see in the exam as what you saw here <laughs> this is so bad <laughs> in terms of keeping everything in one place Adobe Photoshop Express is definitely kick-ass at it now in terms of creating really good phase 2 content I think Visco Cam Viso Cam does an amazing job with especially with the amount of filters you can get if you if you get the subscription or you know uh, or any filter that you can create, but then again, you can create your own custom filter on Adobe Photoshop Express. Again, goes back to my me favoriting trying to keep everything in one place. But if you really want to have kick-ass face two content, which is you know uh, modifying and doing color corrections, color corrections, color corrections, and just doing a whole bunch of other um, not in uh, not insanely graphical stuff, but more like. Uh, you know, changing the color overall, um, or getting a gray, uh, black and white photo, Visco Cam, Viso Cam, is the way to go. And the last is Canva. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty badass. I haven't used it that much, but first impressions, um, in terms of creating dope phase two and phase three content, primarily phase three because of what you, because of what I just showed you in terms of creating that text. If you're really creative with it, I think you can create some bomb ass, uh, some dope, amazing phase two, phase three content on it. Probably a little heavier on using phase three, which is more quote cards uh, on these photos. And if you're really creative, you can use the shapes and other elements that you can have, uh, such as adding these, adding, adding graphics and making your photos pop even more. So those are my thoughts. Overall, I prefer Photoshop Express because of everything being in one place. Those are three options for you to be able to play with. Let me know which ones are your favorites if you're already using one or if any, if there's any that you happen to be using and that I didn't mention today. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys got questions, comments, leave them down below, especially the questions. If you guys got, you know, questions at all, um, feel free to ask. Uh, we'll get back to you in the comments and if the question's really intriguing we'll add it to our ask vp segment uh which is probably one of the my favorite parts of filming in general because you know hang out with your friends ask ask questions answer them help you guys out so it's just overall fun so uh make sure you guys check that out too if you guys haven't seen it already so that's it thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time peace